Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about biotransformation. Biotransformation uh, means transformation of drug and also it could be thought as uh, detoxification of drugs. So biotransformation reactions takes place in the liver and there are two phases of biotransformation reaction phase 1 and phase 2 biotransformation reaction. So biotransformation reaction not only take place in the liver Apart from liver, it could take place in lungs and also in intestine because some enzyme in the intestine also take place in biotransformation reaction. But the major reaction would take place in the liver. The cytochrome P450 system would uh, take a vital role in these biotransformation reactions. So here we have a human being. So the main site for biotransformation reaction would be its liver. Its liver would be the main site for the biotransformation reaction. So in the liver, first a biotransformation reaction would be done by microsomal enzyme system. Microsomal enzyme. So microsomal enzyme would do two type of reaction. First step reaction would be oxidation type reaction. Or we can say first step would be the redox reaction and then the second step would be like conjugation reaction conjugation reaction so uh, in liver we also have non microsomal enzymes non microsomal enzymes such as we have alcohol dehydrogenase which actually oxidize alcohol into aldehyde acetaldehyde basically ethanol to acetaldehyde so these are the two basic um, enzyme system in the liver that can detoxify drugs and biotransform uh, transform drugs so main goal of the biotransformation would be to make the drug more soluble so that it could be easily excreted by the uh, urine so apart from this liver we have extrahepatic microsomal enzymes which also detoxifies drugs so here we have a drug here we have a drug say for instance it is aspirin aspirin is a very popular drug it's an NSAID that means non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug and these aspirin would be transformed biotransformed inside the liver into a more soluble form so that it could be easily uh, excreted in the urine so in the first phase of reaction that means the phase one reaction would be hydroxylation in this case would be hydroxylation and after hydroxylation as you can see a hydroxyl group is attached in the aspirin chain so this hydroxyl group would make these intermediate a little bit more soluble after hydroxylation what would happen the second second phase of the biotransformation reaction would be a conjugation type of reaction so udp glucuronide transferase would transfer a glucuronide group into the whole aspirin con uh, this aspirin side chain and as you can see there are many polar groups here so it is highly soluble and it could be easily excreted into the urine okay back to the phase one reactions what we have we have a drug and after biotransformation in this drug we would have a OH group uh, which is more water soluble and easily excretable so OH group so what will happen molecular oxygen would be used molecular oxygen would be used to hydroxylate this drug and this reaction would take place by the help of the enzyme CYP450 that means cytochrome P450 these cytochrome P450 enzymes are found in liver mainly in liver hepatocytes in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum so 
this molecular oxygen would be broken down and one oxygen would be utilized to biotransform the drug and other would form water and electron would be provided in this reaction by the help of NADPH and as you remember these NADPH uh, comes from the pentose phosphate pathway so NADPH is basically converted into NADP plus and this is the phase one biotransformation reaction of this particular drug and it has a OH group now it's more soluble so let's see in details how these uh, biotransformation reactions of phase one are catalyzed by these cytochrome P450 enzymes. So these cytochrome P450 enzymes are basically heme containing enzymes. So I'm just representing cytochrome P450 as just a circle. So I'm writing P450 and it has Fe3 plus inside its heme group. Now we have our drug which have our age group. First step of this reaction would be drug would be associated with this enzyme system. So here we have our P450 with Fe3 plus and now we have our drug and this enzyme complex. Now we need electron and it, this thing would get, gain electron from NADPH after gaining electron this Fe3 plus would be converted into Fe2 plus and the whole uh, conjugate would remain the same after this reaction what happened molecular oxygen would come into the picture so molecular oxygen would get associated with this whole complex so I'm just denoting P450 P450 and here we have Fe but in a plus 2 form and we have our molecular oxygen and here a uh, second set of electron is required And again, this electron would come from NADPH, and NADPH is generated from the pentose phosphate pathway. And here we have the drug. After gaining this electron, what would happen? This enzyme system would be regenerated, and the product would be hydroxylated drug. So this drug would be hydroxylated and also water would be released. So this molecular oxygen O2 is actually one of the oxygen is used to hydroxylation reaction and another of oxygen is used to produce the H2O. So if you try to summarize the reaction of our phase 1 versus our phase 2 reactions so phase 1 most important reaction is oxidation and oxidation reactions are uh, aided by mixed uh, mixed function oxidase and these mixed function oxidase takes important role in oxidation reaction then we have hydroxylation as we see in this example we have hydroxylation reaction then another thing could take place that is hydrolysis hydrolysis means with the help of water a bond would be broken down this type of uh, reaction takes place for esters very common for for uh, the gen uh, local anesthetics for phase two so these three are main reaction for phase one by transformation reaction and as for phase two reaction are concerned first one type of uh, reaction would be glucuronidation glucuronidation as we have seen for aspirin the second type of reaction could be acetylation and for all the phase 2 enzymes one thing is common 
these phase two enzymes are actually transferase. So they transfer basically acetyl group or glucuronide group, or it could be methylation, or it could be also conjugation with GSH. It could be conjugation with conjugation with GSH by non-microsomal enzymes and also uh, in phase 2 reaction uh, the important enzyme could be alcohol dehydrogenase which can oxidize alcohol so uh, we can we learned that from P450 system the phase 1 reaction is uh, performed and these P450s are mixed uh, oxide uh, the, the, the P450s are mixed function oxidases. So we also have in these uh, phase 1 reaction another type of reaction by Mao that is monoamine oxidase. We have a lot of neurotransmitters which are monoamines like we have norepinephrine, epinephrine, dopamine. So these are metabolized by these Mao monoamine oxidases. So the Key concepts of the biotransformation is the goal of the biotransformation by the liver is to make the drug more and more solubilized, solubilizable form. So if the drug is more solubilized, it is more water soluble, then it could be easily excreted into the urine. And if the drug is not more solubilized, the drug could accumulate into the body and it could build up toxicity. So it's a safety mechanism of our body. And there are basically two sets of reaction. One is phase one biotransformation reaction. Another is phase two biotransformation reaction. So phase one is basically oxidation or redox reactions, hydroxylation and hydrolysis sometime. And, uh, the phase 2 reactions mainly involves the glucuronidation, the acetylation, the methylation and sometimes conjugation with the GSH with the non-microsomal enzymes. Okay, hope you liked it, you have enjoyed, thanks for the video and please subscribe.